Alright, hey you guys. So, we're doing another get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go out uh, with my cousins. So, we're just going to go get some food. And I thought, why not film me getting ready? Ignore my hair. It is drying and it looks crazy. They're on my skin to prep it a bit before I put on my um, daily moisturizer. So, I just put some... I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do, to be honest. I just wanted to try it out. But, at least my skin feeling great. So that's good, right? Let it dry a little bit. Then I go in with the vegan milk moisturizer. Uh, like I mentioned in my last video, I've been using it a lot. I've been using it a lot. I really like it it's really thick and it helps me because I have a really really dry skin as you guys know already so I just go ahead and rub that in okay once I'm looking all dewy I go ahead and go in with the Blur Perfection Mini Pore um, Primer. I've been using it and since the last video, I really, really like it. It really minimizes my pores. So, just go ahead and put that on top. Stuff happens. Um, yeah, so I just put that on, let it dry a bit. Go ahead and move my hair back. And again, these are a lot of the same products I used last time. Um, just because I've been wanting to really test them out. But yeah, they're working out actually. So I just to pull that in. I really like going for like that dewy, like fresh, this could be my skin maybe if I didn't have breakouts look. <laughs> okay. Once my foundation is on, I'm only going to do one layer because honestly, it actually, it covers pretty good. Even though it's like a, it's kind of like a light coverage, it does cover my skin pretty good. It makes it um, more even. Then I go in with my NARS concealer. It's almost the same shade as my foundation. So I just kind of put it in to give me a little more coverage, just a little, nothing crazy. And I go in with the Fenty Concealer Brush as well and just go in there. And then I always kind of like drag it down. As you can see, it covers these um, little red spots more. I will usually just go in with my beauty blender just to really get it in there and pick up a little bit of the product so it doesn't look too heavy. Then I go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette um, to set my under eyes a little. I just lightly put a little bit. Again, to warm up my face a bit, I go in with that same, what is it? Shade and light palette and just kind of go. Tops. 
on the top. I just kind of put them in. I don't really do too much like contouring. Anastasia again, <laughs> like always. I uh, just kind of go in all three of them. Um, I'm gonna use the bare minerals. Bare minerals. <laughs> I'm gonna use the bare minerals brow master pencil. Um, to go ahead and do my brows just to mix it up because I know I do use a lot of Anastasia products but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick I always like flick them up first just to fill in the little like sparseness um i don't know if i mentioned which brow pencil i use but i do use the kat von d can i focus i use the kat von d brow pencil mainly because of the look at it you see the little brushes they're kind of like really good to do like little hair strokes and i use the anastasia dark brown powder I honestly don't know if the dark brown is a good color for my eyebrows but it is the one I use huh. oh my god I'm gonna cry right now look at this shit It's all gone. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be back. Can we have a moment of silence for my brow powder? Because it's dead. There's no, uh, there's just, it's just dead. It's dead and I'm never gonna get it back. It's broken. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so sad. There it goes. Do you guys know how to fix that? Like. Do I put alcohol on it and like tap it like all the videos say or should I not do that? Anyways, I just like, I just broke it down more and like kind of patted it in. I'm still going to use it because I don't want to buy a new one because I said I wasn't going to buy any makeup. <laughs> I wasn't going to buy any makeup the first couple months of 2020. But... <laughs> That's right, pickles. Okay, so back to my eyebrows. Back to my dog. My dog hates everybody and everything, so if he hears anything, he just starts going off. And there's no real stopping him because he's a little demon. Pegos, pegos. All 
All right. Now that my eyebrows are gelled into place, um, they're gelled into place. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of eye primer, and we're gonna see what kind of look I'm doing today. I'm just gonna put it in with my fingers because why not? Okay, so I think my dog has decided that he's had enough of the barking. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow now, which I don't know what to do. Like, I should just do a blue look because I'm wearing blue, but can I pull it off? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and try to use my James Charles palette that I don't really ever use because I'm intimidated by color. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and use that and I'm gonna zoom you guys in in three, two, one. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just go in like this neutral-ish kind of color and I'll just put like the name on the screen of what color I'm using. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead with this neutral color and just go all over my lid. Okay, now that I have my base on, I'm gonna go ahead and, and <laughs> attempt to use it because this is scary. Now that we have the darker blue in, I'm gonna try and go in with a lighter blue and kind of just mix it in a little to, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna take a little um, packer brush. I'm gonna take this little brush and uh, put like a little black in there, maybe? I'm gonna just go in with that darker blue and just kind of put it in the crease. Next, I'm gonna try and use the ColourPop Villains Misunderstood palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Tragic and this other color. I don't know how to freaking say these names. This, this one and this one for like uh, the inner corners. Woo. 
This is what it's looking like so far. So this is what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner on and mascara and then I'll come right back. All right, so I just went ahead and added some eyeliner and um, mascara and then I'm gonna go in with the Becky G ColourPop um, lip liner. in the color muñeca and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips and then I'm gonna go in again with the Becky G ColourPop collection um, what is this? Ultra Matte Lip in the color Homegirl. Or is it Homegirl? No, it's Ola, Ola Chola. <laughs> so. Are you done? He's not done. All right, you guys. So this is the final look. Um, I will say that I don't think blue is really my color. But I was trying something out of my comfort zone. The shade's not working. I think the shade's just a little too nude. I should have... Um, used a different lip liner but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw Vampire from Kat Von D on top a little bit all right you guys so this is the final look um, I just went ahead and added a little darker tint on my lips just because I felt like the mood was just making me look a little crazy but yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll do some more colors. It's really not in my comfort zone. I usually just stick to like reds and browns. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's way different for me because I usually just do like reds and browns very neutral colors and then my favorite orange yellow combination but if you guys like this go ahead and let me know down below and then I can try and start doing some more colors and more like extravagant I guess eyeshadow looks but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and go now don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias and take a listen to our new podcast where me and Kaylin just talk shit about whatever we want to talk about <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed.